You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have David Vincent. David, welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you for having nice, me. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming over here. You are the Youth Administrative Assistant for, uh, it's under Bayware, Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, Right. so I don't do all letters, That's right. the Youth Works Division, correct? Right. right. Okay, and you're here to talk Everybody is sick of the snow in this winter. So am I. <laughs> Forget about spring. Let's just forward right ahead to summer. Right. Summer jobs for youth. Right. Okay. We just got off. We, we covered this great youth jobs rally in, in Boston a little while ago. We're right. putting together a special with it. Right. You're the guy that knows all the information about when the applications are due. And when is that? It's April 15th. Tax day. Yes. Can't forget that. <laughs> okay. Applications go live on our website April 15th. Um, our website is www.baywib.org. And so if you go under the Youth tab, um, on that page you'll find a description about the summer jobs. And then from there you'll click on the link and the youth will provide the information so that we can send them out an um, application in the mail. Now, what better way to do it, okay? I'm on the school committee for Southeastern Regional, and we've recently gone to online applications. We have almost twice the response from people right. online than we do <laughs> to fill out the piece of paper. Right, right. Nobody wants to touch. Right. Everybody, if you can do it online, do it online. Right. Um, we've heard about summer jobs program. The state's facing a little bit of a budget crisis. I know Baywood gets funding from the state, funding from the feds, everything like that. Right. Um, but we will, there will be jobs available in Brockton for youth. Right. Okay? Yes. Um, are there cuts or are we, are we good? Are we okay? Uh, I, there was cuts, um, but for the most part, uh, we haven't received the budget mm -hmm. for uh, youth summer jobs. So that's something that um, I'm not uh, able to speak on, but for the most part, we intend to try to uh, rally around jobs, and this is something that uh, we... Uh, ask for employers in Brockton uh, every year to uh, participate with the summer jobs program. Now, how long does that program go from the end of school? Like, like is it Ju July, August, basically? No, so, so July 1st is when youth are eligible to uh, start work, and then it goes all the way through August 31st. Mm -hmm. So it's a six-week program. Uh, youth are uh, paid $9 an hour, uh, 410 hours. And um, uh, 15 hours of training is required um, for them to uh, start work. And a part of that training is um, work readiness and health and safety. So that's something that they uh, get trained on before they um, uh, start working. Uh, what are the ages? What are the ages? So the their ages are uh, 16 to 21 uh, mm -hmm. Brockton residents. And there are some income uh, requirements um, um, around that. And so um, when youth do come into the uh, center, it's a first come, first serve basis. So uh, slots really uh, pick up really quick. So I would uh, advise everybody out there to, um, you know, contact us as soon as possible to uh, have us put them on, their, on the list so that we can contact them in April. If you snooze, you lose. If right. you don't go down there. Right. Now, like you said, the budget's not out. I, when there's a, whenever there's a new governor, Mm -hmm. It takes longer. Right. I know it does for our school <laughs> committee budget and probably the city of Brockton budget. A lot of the towns that do town meeting, right. uh, there's something called House One. The first year the governor is the governor, it's later. Right. It, it, it all spills out. So you don't know how many youth total because no. you don't know your budget number. No, we correct? don't know the budget number, but um, in years past, we have um, we had uh, just about 200 youth. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, um, we look and anticipate to hopefully get some funding and um, to have some youth work this summer. Now, I know the mayor of Brockton, Mayor Carpenter, is a big supporter of what he you is. do. And all the mayors that I've worked with over the course of time have right. been. People have actually worked right in the mayor's office, correct? Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this past summer, uh, he had an intern uh, worked for him. Um, also, he connected some of the fire departments with uh, interns as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the mayor has been a big supporter. Um, uh, he was at our Perfect Pitch event at the Rock Stadium uh, where uh, youth came in and they were uh, meeting with the potential um, uh, employers that were going to uh, be in the program and the mayor gave his story about his first jobs mm -hmm. and then um, upon uh, completion of the program there was uh, an employer recognition ceremony which you and Jay Miller were there. Mm -hmm. The employer wrapped that up and 
was um, helpful with us, um, you know, encouraging the employers to continue to give back to the youth in the city of Brockton. Well, years ago, I was lucky to be involved. Uh, we did, uh, a different mayor was in place at that point, and we did our first job. Right. We did these videos. The videos, yeah, I remember um, those. Now, everybody knows me for cable. Right. My first job, the one I'll admit to is my first job, was the Brockton Public Library. Right. I was a library page. Wow. So I, and I'm now the chairman of the board of the library, and I love libraries, so it was great to do that. Right. It's always good. Now, my first professional job was cable TV oh, right, right here in Brockton. Right. So what other places, what other places are the kids at um, that, that the, the employers that support you? Support uh, Boys program? and Girls Club is one. Mm -hmm. um, Marshalls is a big employer. Um, they came on. But one um, employer particularly that I am proud to, to, to recognize is the uh, Brockton Housing Authority, Tom Tebow, mm -hmm. and um, his director of maintenance, Owen Ahern, has been a tremendous uh, factor um, when it comes to uh, employing youth. Every time we call them up, they're willing to um, participate in the program. Um, with employers, we ask them to um, pay 50% of the wages, so of the $9 an hour and the 100 hours. And um, from there, every time when an employer pays 50% of the wages, that allows us to enroll additional youth. So that's something that they can contrib uh, contribute to the city and to the youth. Do the, do the youth work primarily days? Do any of them work nights? What, how, how, what, are, what are the hours? So typically, uh, we want to, um, you know, base it around their schedule because during the summer, they're doing, uh, you know, sports, mm -hmm. uh, vacation, times like that. So um, during the morning, um, during the... Um, uh, mid-afternoons mm -hmm. so the latest is probably around like nine o'clock is when they're uh, leaving their their job okay that's good now um, I'm sure you have nonprofits involved I, I you know what I'm gonna go back to the BHA right. just real quick we have less than three minutes okay that's really key and critical and let me tell you why BHA most of the people in the BHA are elderly right so you got youth um, that build respect and learn respect for their elderly citizens, right. and, and probably a lot of great stories. So maybe we'll find a way somehow to tell some of those great stories. Yeah, we're, 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 I didn't we're, know that. Yeah, and they're all over the city. Um, he employs 10 to 15, mm -hmm. so it's very impactful. And we even, um, you know, experience certain um, girls have an interest in maintenance and mm -hmm. um, doing uh, landscaping, things like that. So it's like a non-traditional wow. uh, position for them. So that's very big and something that we continue to uh, support. Well, we're glad to help promote it. Keep us posted. Right. We'll have you come back. We can pitch it again. We'll, we'll run this uh, pretty close to April. And then once you're in the process, if we can do anything to help with TV, we'll be glad to. All right, thank you. And um, we also have for the 14 and 15 year olds, um, something called the WAVE program. It's a work, achieve, volunteer, and experience. And so what they do is they give back to um, places like the, the public library. They do beautification. Mm -hmm. And they also do, um, they help out School on Wheels where they um, help them pack bags for the homeless um, youth okay. in Brockton. So that's another thing. I know we are not able to have them in the program because the requirement is 16 to 21, mm -hmm. but we got a lot of parents coming in and asking what they could do for their 14 and 15 year olds, and the WAVE program is something that we would like them to do also. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Dave. Thank Glad you, you're here. All right. Okay, you're watching Greater Brockton. Uh, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in our City of Champions.